What's up guys, it's your girl Matt Cox from MA Couture Crafting. We're gonna get into our quilt confines video, but first we're gonna start with my t-shirt, which is now available. If you wanna get stopped every two steps, please check this out. People go crazy for it. All right, let's get into it. Let's start off with Carrie Quilting Company. We have brand new designs from North Carolina designers that have never been seen before. So we've got Sea of Pearls, and Carrie Quilting Company has their own presence on YouTube, so I imagine you'll be able to find stuff there too. I really enjoy this one. This one's called Modern Cotton Ball, and I like it so much. This one right here is called Archer. Look at the colors in Archer. This one's by Jennifer Marks and Raleigh. The cotton ball is by Emma Jane. This one is called Minimalist Spruce by Robin Thomas. You know, you really never see a really minimal quilt pattern like this. I like that. There was that we were watching the YouTube thing. This one is the Progressive Pride flag. And that's by Julie Kasama. So I'm at Hobbs Heirloom. You guys know Hobbs, it's the batting people. And if you guys can see this, I suggest pausing this video or coming back to it if you see something that you need. So what they're doing is educating here at this booth, telling people which ones to use for what. And this, wait, this, the back of this one tells you the shrinkage Again, you guys might want to come back to this one day. Because the woman was just saying, well, you know you don't use wool on a baby quilt because you can't dry it. And that's not something I know. I don't know the things about all the batting. All right, so now I'm at the Spoonflower booth. And if you guys don't know Spoonflower, and you should, I'm pretty sure you do, you have the option to check out their marketplace or you can upload your own designs. And it's a print-on-demand type of fabric. And you can do any fabric that they have it's not just cotton but they do have 100 percent cotton along with tons of other different fabrics it is not inexpensive but it is customizable and you know here on the couture channel we want everything to be customized so if you've ever wanted a specific fabric you can upload it yourself okay so like i told you guys they have all different types of fabrics and the one that she was just saying that's mostly used by the quilters is the cotton poplin and then I want to say the petal, which is this one here. Um, which one would I use? I would use petal. If it were me, I would do the petal signature cotton based on what I'm feeling right now. Something else we might be interested in is the fleece. They also have the minkies. We got options. So if you've ever been looking for something specific, you can do your own. It's going to cost you, but it's worth it sometimes. Summer ever. Okay, go for it. All right, so I'm going to. So right now we have that design in. I'm going to switch it over and show you how you can do a kaleidoscope design. So this is. You're going to make oh, it. Oh, that so is kaleidoscope. You're shipping it. Oh, good. That is kaleidoscope. Good. I'm just glad you're getting it. Yeah. Um, and then also you can choose another piece to focus on. Okay. I showed you all this too, didn't you? Yeah. So, and I just do that by resizing it. It's going to give me a different look to it each time. What's the largest size that I can print? Um, 11 and a half. Uh, let's see. So the width is going to be 11.6. And as long as it's under 5.4 yards, it's a continuous, a continuous sheet, strip. So we can okay. keep going. So you guys, this is uh, the Print Moda Studio printer, and they're printing direct to fabric. This is a is this a brother it's product? A brother this is a sure. this is absolutely a brother product. I never showcase brother on my channel, and I should because I have two brother machines, right? So you guys know I have the tin needle, and then I have the Stellaire embroidery only. But this is kind of cool. This is something that's newer, and yeah. So if you're thinking about doing your own bags and you want to put whatever you want to put, it's just an option to customize your stuff further. With Art Spira. With Art Spira and Brother. So Art Spear is the app from Brother. 
it's not a quilt show unless I get with Anova and walk by. Now, I can't afford an Anova, which is the only reason why I cannot have an Anova. But if I could, this is the one that I, well, I would get the biggest one that they had. And people love them. This is the most technologically advanced and probably most well-built long arm, in my opinion. Um, again, I can't swing it. But if you can, definitely look into the Anova. So Jenny Doan has the largest quilting company, I think, that exists for quilts. And she's running, I want to say, 30 of these. So that lets you know that this is probably the best on the market. I'm just saying. We're at Modern American Vintage. And you guys, this is only day two, and he's not going to have any stock left. I love this guy. He makes the clappers, and he does beautiful, beautiful work. He's also able to do <laughs> custom clappers. I'm starting to even see these in the stores. Remember, Julie has them now from Sewing Art Center. If you'd like to purchase them, they are gorgeous. I have a set that I got from QuiltCon last year. Look at how big they are. There are some that are slim. And then there are some that are a little bit wider. And I want to say, oh, look, we've got some with kitties on them. Uh, again, these are just beautiful. Different prices for different ones. Um, they're just gorgeous. And I have mine just like, oh, I want that one right there. Good. Google movie. Oh. Oh, I love it. This guy is amazing. He has wood irons. You guys always ask me about my wood iron that I use. It's like a finger press. And we have this here. Now we have a thread stand, which is this guy right here. It sits on it. I love this guy's stuff so much. <laughs> Those things up there are the ruler stands. Oh, I love this booth so much, but it's the stuff is almost gone. He does so well because this stuff is just amazing. He found his people. I have a set right here, which is a point turner. And then it's got the... Um, what else is in here? It's a point, I think there's a point turner, a seam ripper, and then a like folder, not a bone folder, a, um, a burnishing tool. So we are in the Miss Make booth. She is one of my favorite designers of all time. My absolute favorites. Um, my favorite of hers is the looper. And I have done that looper so many times. Uh, it's just a great, it's a great pattern. And now she has the Looperette. I also have the Omega. I haven't done the Omega yet, but I have it. And I'm planning to do it. And then we've got the Circle. Dioptera. Now, what you're seeing with the Looper, that's just a variation. And I think that's why I like it so much. And it's a really, really quick sew. Uh, you probably see this, and it's easy. Because the curves are so big, it's almost like going straight. So don't be discouraged. This is a good one. So over in the corner in the Miss Make booth, it says play with this quilt. So this is the looper that I was just talking about. And again, what I like about it are all the different variations that you can do with it, right? Just all kinds of stuff. Oh, I like that one. I've never tried that one. This is the most repeated quilt that I've ever done. And I'm actually thinking about having templates made from the template so that I can do it even more. Um, you can play with this right here and she's just got it and it just kind of magnetizes to the wall and you can oh I like that that's kind of a cool uh-oh that's kind of a cool way to do it just something cool something interesting and how it comes together is just genius so check it out Miss Make all right I'm at Latifa Safir Studios one of my favorite designers of all time she's got her stuff over here we've got these clammies Oh, I like these so much. She's got her patterns here. And we are actually going to do one, I want to say on Sunday. This is the one that we're going to use. This is the very, very, very large 24 inch. It's bigger than a fat quarter. And then this one right here, the 16 inch, you can use with a fat quarter. And I did, I didn't do the Glam Clam quilt. We did a different one. But be sure to check out my channel and see how it comes together. It's a really quick sew when you're doing a block that is 24 inches big. It's a good time though. Also, this is one of her super popular patterns. And I didn't know that they had so many different characters. So she says there's 12 different characters in this pattern. So check her out. Quilt Cadets. You know what? Here's another one I forgot to show you guys is the other side. 
one of my favorite patterns of all time. And you know how you know it's one of my favorites? It's because I've repeated that. I've, used, I've done that one multiple times. I don't know if I've done this one yet. I can't remember. And then this one right here is in the works. And they're all done with the Herdy One Ruler. And if my mind serves me correctly, she's going to have different size Herdies that are coming out. I enjoy, I enjoy the two things. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. And here are those people that I was telling you guys about. The duck face people quilt. She's right. Look at all those people on the back. Oh, this is so cool. Aw. I like this. All right. We are leaving Latifa Safir's booth. Okay. I am at the Oliso booth. And check this out. Carolina Moore has been added again. She has blinged out an Aliso iron. It is absolutely amazing. Let's go check out the Tula one now. All right, Brandy is the one that's holding it for me. This is the Quilter on Fire podcast. She's hooking me up right now. She's holding the one, the only two. Them. Now they're out, but don't worry, guys. I think I'm going to get my wish, and I am going to finally get it. Now look what it says on the bottom. All right, I've got a couple of places where you guys can purchase these, so just hold on and check out the comment section, and I promise you I will show you who has these in stock, okay? at Aliso because I love their iron. Amy Birkman hanging out at the Aliso booth and she's going to show us what she has. I, well, I have treasure threads. I'm wearing it. You can oh. see it's a technique Look at for that. putting decorative patch applique on denim okay. or whatever thrifted fashion you find. Okay. We're making small projects. But you can um, purchase the panels okay. and you can embellish them um, you can, here you go, here's a little jean pocket where we... Oh, I like this. We did the, the echo quilting and the embroidery, and then there's different scales of the fabric on the panel, so okay. you can mix and match and have so much fun with these. Is this the panel right here? Yeah, this is the postage stamp retro panel. Okay. So you can see a couple scales, and this is, you know... You, the stabilizer that we did that goes with it mm -hmm. that is fusible on one side too. Okay. So it and I love the Aliso for the technique that I do to create those little patches. Um, and because, we have different panels here. Yes, this is the roses and daisies that I'm wearing. All right. Oh. And then we have the patchwork, and then okay. we have this one's really fun. Oh, I'm excited. It is the. Western Rodeo. Ah, cutie patootie. And you can see where we, you can also have fun adding embroidered details to the panels. And inside the panel, you also get a QR code with three different sewing patterns. Okay. Uh, so that makes it fun. A pouch, an eyeglass case, and a crossbody bag. I want to do so, this. So, isn't it fun? Yes. Yes, uh, it is. As someone who just took apart their jeans for the first time... I want I want in on this. And where All can right. we where can we find treasure threads? Well, you can go to uh, quilt shops. Quilt shops, carry okay. Them. Okay. Um, you can find them at Missouri Star. You can okay. find them at uh, Colonial Patterns. All right, perfect. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. I, I do know this crazy <laughs> woman here. Okay. Just so you know. Yeah. We're hanging out with Janice Smith. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is a big deal. Okay, all right, go for it. Do you like fabric? I do like fabric. <laughs> Look at this bed. Oh, I get to be part of the club. I get to be part of the club. And what's the club? Well, the club is the Patrick Kennel Membership Club. It's a fabric club. Okay. And I'm taking all those great fabric designs that you love from Flea Market Fancy and Katie Jump Rope and Chickpea and all that stuff Okay. that got printed, you know, once and they're not available anymore. So I'm taking them, recoloring them, regrouping them. So we are recoloring and regrouping on and, putting them on a panel. And I'm printing it on a two and a quarter yard panel. Wow. And that's a Patrick panel. They okay. all are numbered so you can get all collecty about them. Ooh. And... They all are going to ship with some super fun swag, oh. including buttons, stickers, sewing labels, and there's a special embroidered membership pack. Oh, I want it. I'm a collector. I'm a collector. The membership price includes these three panels, and this is going to be the fourth panel okay. that ships in December. Okay. And today, whoops. I'm giving people the opportunity to vote for which designs 
you want to see on panel six. So if there's something that you really love. That I like, I get to put a sticker on it? Yeah. Oh, I want to put a sticker. Yeah. I'm going to put a sticker on what we love. Let's look. Let's see what we love, guys. Oh, I know instantly which one. So we get to pick which one we want to see. This is a good time. So I'm at the pre-quilt booth, you guys. I use pre-quilt so much. In some of my videos, you'll see in the beginning of the video, I'll be going through and picking the colors and getting an idea. Now I do this mostly with Three Yard Quilts, who is, has a relationship with pre-quilt. And I'm able to mock up the quilt before I ever do anything, before I buy the fabric. And it's just a great tool and it's so easy to use. Right now, we're watching it mock up an actual quilt. So there are some pattern designers that have relationships with pre-quilt. And at this point, I think everybody should because it allows you to mock up the colors without actually having to have it in your head. So those designers have their patterns uploaded and you can do this for free. Now, if you want to dive in a little bit deeper, you go ahead and pay and you can use um, pattern fabrics that you've uploaded do whatever you really want to do. This is mocking up a quilt. You can make your own quilt. You can see how things will look. But they have a library of pattern designers. And you can just go in there and it's a great place to shop for patterns that you might want. And it's a great place to play with them. Free quilt. I am obsessed with them. And when I start doing patterns, whenever that'll be, I will be using them. Okay. That's free quilt. Alright. I'm fangirling because we are here with the one, the only, Violet Craft. You guys know her patterns. I want to say I tackled at least one of them. I've tried. <laughs> I've tried. So we're going to go through the booth and see what's new. I forgot to tell you guys, she is sharing her booth with Jen Carlton Bailey. And this one here, since it's right here, I'm just going to show you. I bought these templates in, where was I? Sisters. Well, Sisters is when we ran into Jen. She's awesome. You guys see that quilting? The color? Oh my goodness. We love us some Jen and some Violet. So let's go look at some more of their samples. <laughs> So on the wall for Violet, we have the tiger abstractions. We have the lion. This is the one that I've most recently... Is this the one? Yeah, I want to do this guy. Oh my goodness, the wolf. That wolf that we loved on in Kansas City. Okay, we've got the horse and then we have... What is that? A leopard? Oh, I'm, I'm assuming it's a leopard. Okay. Forgive me for not knowing my animals. Oh, there's the wolf. That wolf was done in Minky Fabrics in the Kansas City uh, video for that shop. These tomatoes are the newest one here. And these are all from Violet Craft. So she is a foundation paper piecing quiltress. We love her. We've got a little bit of English paper piecing right here too. And you can find these at all the Missouri stars and stuff. And then we've got Jen Carlton Bailey, who is a friend to the channel. And we purchased her stuff at Sisters Oregon. We haven't done anything with it yet, but we've got it. So I've definitely made the investment in her templates and her patterns. All right. We are in the slightly biased quilt. No, did I say that? Yep, slightly biased quilt. I'm kind of obsessed with the name. And the owner is Jennifer and she's here too. She's behind me. Let's check out some of her patterns. These are new to me patterns, but I see some that I feel like I need. I'm gonna show you guys. Ooh, I feel like we've seen these trees. I feel like this one has been very popular. Hold on. All right. Look at this, these are snow globes. Aren't they cute? It's called Shake It Up. This one right here is fire. I want it. Bejeweled is fire, guys. We have the butterfly blooms, and then we have the nest over there. Let me show you some more, because they get, she's got some really good patterns. We love us a good pattern. I love finding new pattern designers, because we're quilters. Okay, this one might be my favorite, Vela. Oh, she's got such a good vibe. She's got a ton of patterns, too. You guys might already know her, and I'm just new, which is possible, and it's fine. But these certainly stopped me in my tracks. And I said I was done shopping, but I don't think I am. I think I'm going to have to buy some of these. Oh, maybe that one's my favorite. That's a good one, too. Again, slightly biased quilts. <laughs> Jennifer is slightly biased. <laughs> Y'all are not ready for this. Guess who I finally found? I have been searching for Mr. Rich forever. This is the person who made 
my wood finger press. You guys asked me, I get 30 questions a day about where to find this, and I wasn't able to find him. I could not find it. I found somebody who I think carries him, but they didn't have them in stocks, yada, yada, yada. So now we know who made them, and they're absolutely beautiful. He has some other items in the shop. He's got the Taylor's Clapper here. We've got the sewing machine ruler holder, the small ruler holder. Uh-oh, we've got rainbows. And then we have the states. Now, of course, this has been going crazy. And, oh, oh we've got cursing stuff. Oh, okay. And so it's been going crazy. So he sold out of stuff. But he is shipping. He is shipping. He is shipping. You you guys, everybody needs to have one of these guys. You, you have to have one. I have one, and I use it in my videos. And everybody asks. He does all different kinds of colors and things. Here you are. We finally found him. I have his business card in my pocket. I need to get away from Sawyer Creek because I just saw, now do I need this, a ratcheting screwdriver? Why do I need a ratcheting screwdriver? I don't, but the handle is rainbow, so now I need it. Now I absolutely need it. We've got many screwdrivers. There is a rainbow. Going to get that. This is insane. Roller presses. And then we have the mini toolkits, and then they have one in rainbow. And this is a great thing to have for your classes. So you can get a, um, a flathead, a stiletto, and I want to say there's a Phillips that comes, there is, there's a Phillips that goes right there. These are great, and they're cute, and they're fashionable, and y'all love them. Of course, we have seam rippers and those things, which I have some. Oh, I'm going to be broke. I don't need all these. These are color woods. I'm supposed to be gone out the booth, and I'm still over here. Look at me. That's the dual end seam ripper and the stiletto. But I do, I am definitely getting this toolkit. I think this is a great thing to put inside your kit when you are out and about. Good thing to have. All right, I'm in the So Mariana booth with Mariana and Sabrina. They have one of the best heart patterns. You guys, I am on, I don't know, you know, hearts, they're so overdone sometimes, but this one is so clean. So pretty. It's just the the, um, the display is drawing me in. But actually, their booth has a vibe, and it's a vibe that I am digging. Check out the Christmas trees. In July, we start our holiday quilt, so that's kind of coming up, sort of, kind of. And here are some more of the patterns that they have. And they have an online presence, so you'll be able to order. I'm going to link them for you. Ooh, Polaris. I think that one's in the corner. It is. Let's take a look at Polaris. They know how to just do a quilt and make it look good, you know? And Sabrina. Which one is this? I didn't see this one. That one's Polaris. Which one is this? Whirly Jr. I want to do this. Yeah, they're a vibe and I'm digging it. And Sabrina's an artist, and she uses her mother's scraps to make art. And you can get these little pins. How cute. Again, we are at So Mariana. I think you guys should check them out. Oh, look. There's a heart. I like the bottom of that heart. How it's the same fabric. We're at Web Fabrics. They have some good taste. I like what they stock. This bird right here is coming home with your girl. There is something so cool about this and that flower and the colors. It's the taste of this booth for me. The store is in Loud County, Virginia. Oh, look at those mushrooms. Let's get up on those mushrooms. What awesome patterns. And there's the cassettes. And then here we go. Oh, I like the style. And then they also have like these kits. For their patterns and they have some that are curated let's go look at their curated kits so they sunflower these are half pack quilts i love to see how people curate their packs and i like how these are laid out because they're laid out by um free spirit wyndham oh look some e-bond up there this is this is my kind of store I think you guys need to check them out and see what all they have available. They have art gallery. We have blank quilting. Oh, these are my kind of people here, guys. This is a great style. I like it quite a bit. 
it is not a show unless I come by Kai Scissors. I love mine. I use them constantly. If you've ever wondered what scissors I use, I use these. I have the blue sets. I think I have, the, I know that I have the, um, the shears for batting. I made the mistake of calling these affordable in one of my videos. And honestly, for a pair of scissors that you'll have for a lifetime, aren't they? Aren't they, though? They have every kind of scissor you can imagine. And I have found some good uses for that guy right there. When you're doing embroidery, it's got that. It jumps over the, um, the hoop. So they have just such a great selection. And then I have some of these over here, which are the professional ones. Because as quilters, we need good scissors. And I believe in Kai scissors. So Creative Lounge. We are hanging out. They have some of the best pieces that I have seen. They're wearing some of the best pieces. Look at this. This would be so cute as a bumblebee, as a bumblebee quilt. They are a store and they have all the tutorials and the classes. I wanna say they even do a retreat. I think you've seen all the videos for this jacket right here, the jelly roll jacket. If you wanna make one, you can. They have a tutorial or classes, I want to say, for this. And it's very, 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 very popular. That tote is everything. It's a grab-and-go tote. And in those fabrics, it's just a good time. And then we have this quilt pattern right here with the hearts. That's the two hearts with the ribbon. And then we have our gals. Oh, check out the skirt. Again, we are at So Creative Lounge. We are with Sweet Tea Pattern Company. Let me showcase some of these patterns. This one right here. What's the name of this one? This is Photo Op. You guys, look at how perfectly those cameos fit. Now, I was trying to figure out what I was going to do with the cameo because they're big. They're a big cameo, but they look so good. And it showcases those other fabrics that came out with that Tula Pink collection. This makes me actually want to do this version of this quilt. This is excellent. There are some more awesome ones. This is the cruising, does it say cruising line? I think it says cruising and spinning crazy. Let me just stand here so you guys can sit with it for a second. This is a fun one. I bet you this is a fast sew. Let me get you in on the block so you can kind of see how fast this could be. And I want to say this one here is called, okay, I'm naming things and I should not, but we're going to just check out sweet tea patterns so we can find the things. <laughs> Turnpike, boy, oh, she's got some good stuff. I'm gonna show you my absolute favorite one. Y'all are not ready. Paving stones is dope though. I will say I like that one quite a bit, but let me show you my favorite. This one here is a show special. Buy two patterns at regular price, get a third one free. I can do that. Grandma's Garden, I like that. It's like a fresh take on that, um, that flower. But let me show you guys my absolute favorite one from in here. This one's pretty cool too. Boy, I like these. So many ideas are just going through me right now. This is it. This is what drew me in. This is so dynamic and beautiful and linear. It's called Knotted Up. And here it is. Right here. I've got some ideas for that guy. That guy's got to come home with me. Love it. So... O-E-S-D. I have recently started embroidery and this has kind of been my obsession. I check in here before I go anyplace else because they're the only place that has the Tula Pink embroidery digitally that I can get. So they have partnered with Rashida and this is absolutely stunning. I am going to do something with this. I don't know what, but it is happening. I purchased this here. You guys can of course get it online. It's just amazing i can't wait again oesd there was something else over here oh i liked this applique the hawaiian applique but they have a, the applique embroidery they are an embroidery site and i think embroidery is all the rage i think i did something else this is a tulip pink design here 
Here's another tulip pink design. So when she drops a fabric line, usually there will be some embroidery designs with it. And I think I'm gonna start incorporating that in the channel just because I think it's awesome. Now they have more designers than just tulip pink. Obviously they have Rashida and some others. So I suggest you guys take a look. I went to a quilt show in Oregon and they had an embroidery category, which was amazing. And I'm hoping that more shows incorporate that because I think embroidery is gonna be a thing soon, like a thing. And not that it's not a thing now, but a thing a thing. I'm still hanging out in the OESD booth and I saw her pull out her glasses from right here. I don't know if you guys know this is a thing. You guys know that I am a glasses person. She got this from Bed Bath & Beyond before they went online and I think it's awesome because she is not old enough to wear her glasses around her neck. So there's Carolina Moore being awesome, but you guys, we are not here for that. Oh gosh, my finger is getting in the video because I'm trying to eat Starburst while I'm at QuiltCon. But this is what we want to see right here. Look at what she did to the AccuQuilt and that machine and the Aliso. This is the person who did the Aliso. Carolina Moore, we love her. So many of these So we are hanging out at Cherrywood now. So we have talked about Cherrywood at all of the conventions because they're everywhere and we love that. Right now we have the Poppy collection that's going on. So what you do is you buy the bundle and you make a small quilt and then you submit it. Due date is May 15th. You still have time to get in. And then it travels, it goes all around, it's in the book. You guys have definitely seen the Cherry Wood exhibits. I have showcased them a gazillion times. But outside of that, we've got Cherry Wood fabrics and they are some of the most beautifully curated bundles you will ever see of hand dyed fabrics. When you use these fabrics, they look like suede. They're amazing. I'm going to show you guys some more of the color samples. Again, cherry wood fabrics, hand dyed. Here are some of the samples in the cherry wood. And they didn't bring all of their stuff. This one here is a smaller show for them, but it is killer. Can you guys see the texture on that fabric? Hand dyed. Amazing. And I feel like QuiltCon demographic is just now getting into cherry wood, so you guys don't get left behind. Try some if you've never tried it. It's so different. As usual, I stop by this every time, Handy Quilter. Long arm machines. And here is the one. Nope, this is a little bit smaller. This is not quite the one that I want, but it does have the Pro Stitcher. And people have been playing like crazy. At some point, we are gonna have a 24 inch handy filter. I am believing it. You guys believe it with me. So here is the Moxie XL, which is a much more affordable option. This is the bigger Moxie, so they have a tiny Moxie. And if you guys know Ben Millet, he makes, I mean, I don't know that there's anything that he can't do with the Moxie that everybody else can do on an Amara. I think this is a great option if you don't have a ton of space and you really don't want to jump into long arm, long arm, but you need a long arm, you know what I mean? Check out the Moxie. I'm going to show you guys what the regular size Moxie looks like. And here is the smaller Moxie, and both of them come with the ability to add the computerized program. Here is the Pro Stitcher that is on this one, which is the Moxie XL. So, again, guys, check out Ben Millet. It's amazing, he's amazing. It's only day two and everybody is running out of merch, but if you wanna see more of Orange Dot Quilt stuff, and thank you guys so much. She says that you guys have been calling her and requesting stuff and saying that you saw her items on my channel. You guys don't know how much that means to me. That allows me to get my name out there some more and people want to start working with me and it just gets more and more respect for this channel. Again, this is Orange Dot Quilts and my favorite thing right now is the bee bag. This is the bag that you guys have been calling about, that you guys have been asking about. It comes in a bunch of different sizes and then we've got the H bag. Oh, Dora Carey, is that Dora Carey behind me? She just showed up. The H bag. This kit went crazy, 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 crazy. Look at the little pin cushions. Here's another bee bag. Gosh, I wish I had made one and had it here. It would have been just the perfect place to have that bag. So fashionable, so cute. Ah, 
this one here, the only one block, also a huge deal, big, big, big deal. People love this quilt. I want to say you take a panel and you just rework it a bit. Again, we are in the orange dot quilt booth. All right, I'm hanging out at So Tights and I've run into this amazing mat. So let's show you what it can do. So it's our magnetic cutting system. It's double-sided, light gray on this side, dark gray on the other side. There's metal in the core of the mat and magnets embedded in the ruler. It comes as a set, the mat, the ruler, and 12 boosters. So you can add the boosters to the ruler for additional support. You do still have to hold the ruler, like you can't mom no hands, but um, you just don't have to grip it quite so hard to reduce fatigue in your arm. Okay. You can add, put all six boosters on the magnets and even add them to your non-cutting side for additional support. Oh, I like that. Or use them separately on other templates or rulers or pattern pieces. Oh, so it doesn't have to have the magnets in the other to work because that's just a bowl cozy from Creative Grits? Right. Nice. Or you could use them for like bag or garment patterns. Oh, okay. Um, and it comes in a left-handed set or a right-handed set. The mat and the ruler both are either left-handed or right-handed. That's amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Kylie, modish quilter. We love her pattern. She's got this book that I am kind of obsessed with right now. Look at this. So these are her patterns. Again, we are at modish quilter. She's got the um, she's got the book. She's got patterns. She's been doing this a while. She I caught her at a class or a lecture. You guys can grab this. Such a vibe. This one right here is my favorite. It's starry dyed and it's coming out in April and we are going to tackle this one for sure because it's just too beautiful. And I love how she put that shirt there. She's got a cool aesthetic. Okay, so guess what? One of our Quilty BFFs brought me this bag just to show it to me. And boy, does she look good walking around carrying it. Check out the fabric. And we were just talking about the things and some of the decisions that she made for this bag. You guys see that she changed her thread for the beige to match the beige. The so black matches the black. And we didn't wrap the full strap right here. She left it showing because the fabric is amazing. And of course, she's got two different color zippers. This is our people. This bag looks amazing and I love it. So I'm hanging out in the lovely Stitches Quilt Shop booth, and that actually over there is the designer of this brand new AccuQuilt Go paper doll die. So we've got the paper doll here, and then we have the beautiful hairstyles, and then bam, we've got outfits. I'm going to try to see if I can snag one of these. I want to get in on it. We also have some new stuff from Carolina Moore. She's with AccuQuilt, and then we have some more stuff over here with Janine LaCour. Um, these mushrooms and whatnot, and that's that. Yep, Sally Tomato, everybody's favorite bag making supplies. We've got new faux leather. This is gonna be shimmer, this is gonna be textured, and this right here is gonna be the, I wanna say this is, oh, I forget, it's kinda got like a burnished feel to it, but this is new-ish, okay guys? This is newish stuff from Sally Tomato. Let me show you a few other things. Yeah. So here is some of the webbing that they have, but guess what? They've got new webbing coming in. I cannot wait to see what new webbings they come in. If you're wondering what on earth the webbing is, that's that strapping that we use when we make our biennial bags or whatever bags you guys make. It's kind of like, you know, the seatbelt material. Also, new coming, they've got some more plastic, um, or vinyl, I'm sorry, printed vinyl that's coming. We have, what do we say, leather? No. Leopard. Leopard. Checkered. Checkered. Sparkle. Sparkle. And then we're doing, is it black checkered? What do you say? Yeah. A black and apricot checkered. So again, clear vinyl coming. We are absolutely going to do some stuff with that, so stay tuned. I'm hanging out at Juki America. Now, you guys know... I have a video about Juki compared to an HD9, but I know most of y'all really love y'all Juki. So here we are. It's an amazing straight stitch machine. I have some really biased, <laughs> you know, reasons why I didn't choose the Juki, but I have sewn on this and I still think it's a beautiful machine. This right here is set up for free motion. So you can take that same straight stitch and turn it into a free motion machine that where you're, you know, the arm is a little different. All right, guys, the Juki TL18 QVP. 
We are hanging out at the American Quilt Study Group, and we're hanging out with Mia. Did I get that right? Oh, look at me Good getting here right. Mia's going to tell us a little bit about what they do here. So the American Quilt Study Group studies quilts, and it doesn't mean that we study antique quilts, so there's a lot of those here. Right. We study the past, the present, and the future of quilting, okay. whether it's about the quilts, whether it's about the makers, the history around the makers, the statements in quilts, women's studies, everything is what we do in quilting. So okay. And we have an academic journal that's called Uncoverings. It comes out once a year. It's research papers that people submit. And we have we have anything from actual academics who are working in academia studying textiles, mm -hmm. textile history, quilt history, to random people like me. You know, my day job is cybersecurity, and in the evenings I play with quilts for fun. I can write a research paper and have it published okay. about something that I'm passionate about. So nice. um, this book contains everything from indigo dye resist techniques to the popularity and rise of pre-cuts and jelly rolls. We could even talk a story about the rise of pandemic quilting and how it's creating the next generation of quilters and how amazing that is. This is amazing! But every quilt tells a story. We want people to continue to tell their stories and we want people to label their quilts because it's so important. Okay. The majority of the quilts in this space, only two of them are labeled. Okay. So we have to infer stories from what we know about the fabrics, what we know about the designs, what we know about regional techniques and, and popularity, but I would much rather be able to say this wonderful person, the quiltress made this quilt. It was amazing because she made this quilt and she made it as a statement and it's so important to the future of quilting. Thank you. And you guys have a pocket guide too. Tell me we about the pocket do. guide. So we have a pocket guide. This was made by Mary Fawn. So it's all about who we are and what we do. Ooh, perfect. If you guys need to scan that. Yep, you totally need to scan, scan that. It. Scan it from the computer. There and you, you can look more um, about some of the different star quilts, mosaic quilts, kit quilts, whole cloth, which okay. is the 18th century style, all the way through to, we do endowments and we have grant programs, and wow. then also, if you are a member and you join this weekend, it's $75 normally, but if you use QuiltCon 24 through Monday, okay. you get $15 off. Perfect. All right, Wildflower Quilt Company, we are hanging out. They are based in Minnesota, and they are a full-service quilt shop. Yes, you can get your edge to edge done, and I want to say that it starts at like 0.25 for the square inch, which is excellent, and yes, you can ship them in. Let me show you guys. They have a pattern designer in-house, and I want to show you her pattern. Check that out. That's the pattern by Devo Quilts. It's, a, it's called Made with Love, and I think it is so pretty. Look at that quilting that was done on it, too. I think it's just amazing. So I'm here at Villa Rosa Designs. You guys are already familiar with them. There are a ton of patterns, $2. And look at all these. Look at all these patterns. So cool, so cute. You name it, they've got something for it. And I'm going to show you guys some of these beautiful samples in their booth. Beautiful, beautiful <laughs> Tim Holtz fabric. Look at that. Look at the way that it's displayed. This booth is absolutely stunning. It just draws you in. And I haven't been able to get in the whole show, so you guys already know how popular they are. You can find these patterns in quilt stores all across the U.S. I'm sure you guys already know. It's me who's on the late boat, as usual. Check this one out. We've got Acrobatic, Fruity Tootie, River Queen, Sisterhood. Just tons and tons of patterns that have been worked up beautifully, and they look like they're easy and they don't take a long time. I'm not sure if I've done one. I feel like I have, but I just can't remember. But again, this booth has been jumping. Serendipity Woods Fabric and Designs. Oh, look at that. It's gorgeous. I'm going to show you guys the names of some of these patterns in just a moment. And yes, the quilt show is about to close, which is the only way that I was able to get into this booth because it has been absolutely crazy. Oh, the bunny. That's their mascot. They were selling plush bunnies before they became a fabric store. So good. Okay, here are some of the patterns. Tell me if you see one that you really like. Oh boy, I like this one. I'm gonna show you what some of their samples look like that are on the outside of the booth. Here's one. This is the Trixie's Tree Farm. And here's another Trixie's Tree Farm. And here's the, the Puddle Jump Park. I think this one's my favorite, Puddle Jump Park. 
I'm digging that one. Okay, and then here are another two on the outside. Oh, look at this one in this gray. Oh, it's so sleek. This was called Reverberate. Oh, I like the way this one comes together. This is, okay, maybe this is my favorite. Tell me what you think. All right, hanging out at the Figo booth, and these are their new basics right here. And then we have, this is all by Gazal Razavi, which was just beautiful. Then they let me touch some fabric over here in the booth, which was insane. So this is the space, the space dye wovens. And she was telling me that they weave variegated thread through the uh, fabric. You guys, it feels amazing. Amazing. We have to, I'm going to have to make a quilt with this because it just feels delicious. I know you guys can't feel it, but just trust me. It's soft. It feels like lawn, but not, you know, it's great. Very excited about it. And the beautiful solid threads and the multiple tones that you get. There's something very beautiful about this fabric. Duckadilly Liberty Fabrics. Look at how beautiful this is. Please stop to smell the roses. <laughs> this is gorgeous. They have tons and tons and tons of Liberty Fabrics in here. Fat quarters and whatnot they are stocking right now so I'm gonna get out because it's technically closed but duckabilly yeah I have not been able to get anywhere near this this is amazing